Hi all, today we will learn about Emily Jane Brondi. Emily Brondi was an English novelist and poet of the Victorian period. She was one of the Brondi sisters. Charlotte Brondi and Anne Brondi are her sisters. The Brondi sisters are among the most beloved writers of all time. They represent the stormy sisterhood in English fiction. It was the discovery of Emily's poetic talent that led the sisters to publish a joint collection of their poetry in 1846. They used male pen names for their collection. Many women writers of the Victorian era published their work anonymously or under male pseudonyms to ensure that their works would be given the same merit that works by male authors were given. The sisters' poems were published in 1846 in one volume as Poems by Cara Ellis and Acton Bell. They adopted pseudonyms using the first letter of their names. Charlotte was Cara Bell, Emily was Ellis Bell, and Anne was Acton Bell. Charlotte contributed 20 poems and Emily and Anne each contributed 21 poems. In 1847, Emily published her novel Wuthering Heights under the pseudonym Ellis Bell. In 1850, it was republished under Emily's real name. It was only after Emily's death that the book developed its reputation as a literary masterpiece. She died just a year after its publication. The novel portrays the obsessive and vengeful love story between Heathcliff and Catherine. The name of the novel comes from the manner on which the story centers. Blending realism, romance and the gothic, the book subsequently became an English literary classic. Emily died of tuberculosis on December 19, 1848 at the age of 30. In 1850, Charlotte edited and published Wuthering Heights as a standalone novel and under Emily's real name. The complete poems of Emily Jane Brondi, a posthumous collection of over 200 poems was published in 1923 Charlotte referred to Emily as an unconscious artist who did not know what she had done in other words a visionary genius Emily Brondi was a unique personality in the history of Victorian literature That's all for today thank you for watching